Welcome everyone to episode 12 of season 18 of Imperial Galactic Survival Reforging version 1.7. Uh, off camera I went and um, finished off that uh, burial chamber uh, that I had left earlier. Uh, I managed to get a lot of um, um, a lot of good stuff from it actually. Uh, What did I get here? Uh, I picked up uh, enough stuff to make a medium armor. I think I found a uh, uh, armor boost. And, uh, yeah. Uh, I, I thought I did anyway, but that's neither here nor there. Today I want to go and um, finish off the Xerax. I have the uh, Temple of Lazarus marked off over there uh, because I also did that off camera. Um, found out something interesting: the um, uh, warriors in there, the Talon warriors, aren't actually Talon. They're uh, they are unaffiliated. Uh, I found that out the hard way because my top ta uh, turret gun, which had been replaced because I'd uh, upgraded my ship. But I didn't uh, rejigger it, so it was no longer uh, uh, shooting at uh, regular NPCs. And uh, when I went over there to loot the place, my gun opened fire on him, and that pissed him off. And he started shooting me, and I thought I was out of luck with the uh, Talon. Uh, but uh, nope, I'm still friendly with them. Uh, apparently they were un unaffiliated, so I went back in and shot them all and the little bat dogs and everything and and um, I uh, looted the place and uh, this is what I was looking for six uh, optronic bridges were in the burial chamber in one of the the back rooms uh, alien containers I wish I had known that before I uh, grinded by making all that weapons and selling them to get the uh, eight bridges I needed to finish off the truckster, but there it is. Uh, we got these six small electronic bridges. Uh, I got them in here because I'm going to sell them. And uh, depending what I get from uh, the rest of the Xerox POIs, um, I might be able to start building the um, Truck, the uh, CV. But we shall see. First things first. Uh, we need a little fuel. Alright. And let me make sure I'm uh, empty here. Sometimes when I do stuff off camera, I forget to get myself set up for the next episode. All right, we're going to go out over here first. We got to take those towers out. I think they're close enough to the uh, drone base to cause problems. Alright, coming up on Xerax land, there's a fortress that I've already got. I'm coming in from the uh, wrong side there. That uh, tower there is already done. I got to sort of skirt around the edges here. Come in from the east. From the west to the east. Altitude here. There we go. Got a good view of everything there. It looks like we've got all day to play with. The sun's just coming up, which is nice. 
There's a drone base hiding out there in the woods. Alright. Take this tower out. Wonder how my rockets would do against these guns. Gun. There's only one gun. Creep on in here. Guy again. Boy, those guns are tough. A lot of hit points. Come on, man, go away. Thank you. Sheesh. They always cling on for dear life. There we go. I think we're a little bit too close to that guy, so I'm gonna leave this one for later for looting. Take care of this guy. I could use the rockets, they're relatively cheap if you have enough um, magnesium. This guy is pointing at me. Go away, man, go away. the way those rounds f fly all over the place down there. It's one of the things I miss about vanilla. So the bullets travel straight and true in vanilla. Alright, that one is clean. Alright, uh, I've already taken care of all those places. They've been looted. Didn't have any guns on them. Alright, uh, well, nothing for it but to dash on in there and get down to the base of the wall. Hopefully I don't get killed. Shields are up. Uh, 
our shields are holding. Sounded like there might have been shields on this place, even though there's not wasn't supposed to be shields. Notice how the sound of my thing hitting that just kicked in. Kind of weird. Never mind. Doesn't matter right now, anyway. Those uh, ball turrets are just too darn strong. They're like four times as strong as the, the regular guns. They blow up real good. Naughty boy. Ah, where's the other ones? Hello? There's a turret there. There's a couple of these guys. Gotta take care of. And this ball turret. Let's take care of him. Rooftop gun really comes in handy. There was a mechanoid next to me, but my automated turrets took care of them. All I do is keep my eye on the shields. It's the only way you know you're being shot at from behind. All right. Uh, let's see. Looks like we got a couple of guns there. troops on the outside, I don't think. I think some of them are leaping through those holes in the wall. That's something new that's sort of been added. The way those uh, turret guns blow up, they do open up the sides. Uh, let's see, there is a spawner we can take out. I do like pinpoint weapons. Shouldn't have shot at me, man. My ship can take care of itself. Uh, there's another sentry gun. I think there's another ball turret over there. Lurk. An X mechanoid. Oh, there it is. Actually, what am I doing? The core is over on this side. I should be able to. Should be able to take it out without worrying about that other gun. Core's right down here. Usually, on the starter planets. This is the small version of 
this POI. that block well you say that theoretically nope I wonder if, it, if this is the small version Maybe it's two blocks down. I I don't remember. Oh yeah, there it is. All right, great. I didn't even have to worry about that sentry gun. Should I keep it hovering? Yeah, I will, just in case. With the walls being open the way they are. All right, uh, let's link. Salvage mode. And let's get to looting. I don't hear anybody, so I don't think we caused a lot of spawnage. Oh, I already have some junk there. Hmm. Okay. Ratatouille. Alright, yes, I am going to grab all of the bits and bobs. I do have to look forward to building the CV, so I need as much junk as I can get. I'm probably going to have to go uh, tear apart uh, Heidelberg for all the steel that I'm going to need. Uh, let's see here. A lot of good stuff. Blue, blue waffles are always good. Fooled me. <laughs> Had to get just enough health so I could uh, drink my water and put the uh, flame out. Flamethrower Xerax. Scum. He was so nice and quiet. Didn't even know he was here. Guess I'll have to get the old gun out here. Nothing like getting warmed up in the morning. Toasted. Okay, any more idiots out here? Let's get up here where I can see better. And I think that was just uh, a freak accident. We'll find out as we go along. Worst thing about those flamethrower Xerax is the uh, ooh, 46 fuel. The uh, you can't see what the hell's going on with all the fire in your face. Uh, 
All right. Nice. Power coil. Gotta be on my toes here. So what do we get for one of those? Laser upgrade kit, power coil, great. And a this cozy alloy, which is good. Anybody hiding back here? I think if you follow the Talon guy for uh, taking this place out stealthily, I think you come in through that hole in the wall. Antennas. Yeah, this place is a little different. There are switches around. Like I said I haven't, uh, didn't want to come in here with the Talon guy stealthily. Stealth is not my jam. I like the kills. I just love killing. All right. We got everything outside here. Let's go on inside. Uh, keep an eye out for stray flamethrower Xeraxins. Just in case they're outside. Let me work in peace. Alright, anybody up here? That guy was really quiet. Didn't do your usual Xeraxian empty stomach grumble. Okay. We are picking up a lot of stuff. We need to get downstairs to the really good stuff. All right. This is where the uh, commander usually lives. Don't think he spawned. I think that guy uh, downstairs spawned because I went against the wall right there. It was within his uh, sensing range. I should have. Uh, Thought ahead about that. All right. Infected wound. I let my burns of sort of healed. Uh, antibiotic pills. down when I took the peel. That's kind of stupid. <sighs> I don't know how the self stuff operates now. It's not, not very clear cut. There's all sorts of little uh, things affecting other things that you got to remember. It's kind of weird. Anyone? There's a shield generator. 
Got a lot of flux coils and blue offals for that. Very rare container. Oh, I like the uh, new icon there. The for schematics. Got a little picture of the nanite injector. Got a bunch of the restroom and a laser rifle. Nice. Contacted tank. Flux coils. Great, great, great. Flux coils are always welcome. All right. Yeah, see, this is new. Well, not new for the last time I played. The uh, last playthrough was Reforged, and this was there as well. But uh, this see, it's sort of finished off here. We have a little cells and uh, switches. I, I guess if we follow the uh, talent guy, we come in and set somebody free and throw the switches. I guess. I'll never know. But, oh, I want these armored windows for the safety and plates. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we got some junk up there. Gotta remember to look up. Let's see, that's all regular glass. around seeing if there's anything else that's new. Picking up a bunch of this um, metal scrap. Do another furnace run. To get some Neo out of that. Alright. Cobalt good. Cobalt good. Alright, what's... Ooh, 16 flux coils. Alright, I don't think I was up against the wall here, so I don't think anybody spawned in here. It's the core room. Ooh, look at that. Restroom, discusium. And we got some credits too. Nice. Oh yeah, this may come in handy here. Hope I get something good for the CPU extender. Eight flux coils. Ooh, and six large optronic bridges. See, that gets you all the way to almost one uh, CPU extender, tier 2 CPU extender for the uh, CV. Which might be all we need for the time being. So it'll just be a matter of uh, getting the final two, which is my guess about uh, 80 thousand credits. It's doable. Alright. I do believe we got everything from here. Creeping up on me here. Alright. Alright, let's see what we have. We're 37 tons, which is no problem. About halfway full. Yeah, 
Let's see, is that still sorted by mass? Yes, it is. Yeah, that's those six large electronic bridges have come in real handy. Put some more credits over there. And look at all those. F 44 flux coils and the advanced electronics. It's all good stuff. core in it. So I guess I have not gone through here yet. Okay. Then I shall go through it. It's unarmed. And this one's loaded with stuff. It's got those stacks of containers up top. close enough to start them coming on out. Alright, how are we doing on fuel here? I picked up a, a lot of fuel. Alright, I'll leave everything running. Why not? Places cord, so we'll just go in and help ourselves. Ah, uh, let's see. There's a gun that always shoots me because I forget about it. Okay. Flex coils. That was some interesting stuff. I deconstruct that. This, this stuff I use in my own ship. Some more fuel. A more elemental pentexid. Good. I don't need that. There's more Xerox laser cells. That stuff probably gonna fill you up pretty quickly. Those things are usually take up a lot of space. Wasn't good. Oh. Neo, great. Let's 
That's where the core was, by the way. All right, been through there, gotta go upstairs. And here's where all that stuff is. 75 years later. All right, that's everything. Yeah. All right, let's see where we're at, weight-wise. 85 tons, boy. We're, we're pretty darn full there. Uh, might want to offload some of this into the factory. Say half of those. See that? <laughs> that brings you way down. Just, just the steel plates. Um, Sathium plates. Uh, do I want them on me or do I want to put some in the factory? Let's put half of them in the factory. Half of that in the factory. All the glass in the factory. All right. That I'll do. Okay. Yeah, let's see, where was I? Yeah, I should balance myself off. We're still close to 80 tons, so uh, the lifting thrusters will be working very hard. All right, let's take care of this other POI. Heck, the sun's going down. We already spent the whole day here. Here is the garage. There it is. Uh, let's go into gun mode. There will be a spawner popping up there. Usually spawns a couple mechs. Let's see, I can shoot through here to get to the core. So contrary. Trying to avoid that container. Gone. Let's get out with Puco Vision. Even though it is very, very dark. And once again, I'm going to keep her hovering. Never know what idiots may be around. Okay, great. This will be a little bit easier to loot. It's nowhere near as big 
is the last place. My own footsteps are sort of delayed. Makes me nervous. Like there's somebody else walking around in here. Well, we're picking up a lot of elemental pentaxid, that's great. Good. Now, while I'm here, something to eat. Get my health back up. stuff. Elemental Pentaxi. Very excellent. This upstairs area is relatively small. That's everything. These are all normal ish windows. I just gotta remember to take the big armored windows. Get the Sathium plates. Okay, uh. Back up to 80 tons. That should be all right. The only places we've got left to loot now are uh, those two towers, and they're small. Should be able to tuck their stuff away in here. marked so I should be able to see it. Yep. Yep, already got the armory, got that other place. Again with the darkness. is the entrance. All right, puke of vision off. It's the wrong weapon. Helps if you get the right one selected there. Quiet around here now. Yeah, where's the gun? There it is.
All right, what you got for me? Cobalt, good. Magnesium, good. Look at that. All your basic raw materials. No mining required. Alright. This place is done. Let's go next door. Get this other one done. Kind of wondering now if I should go after that uh, convoy. It's got a ball turret on it, so it might be a little tricky. I think if you do it stealthily with the Talon guy. Uh, you stand a chance of uh, looting it without everything blowing up because it is rigged to explode. But if you take the ball turret out, of course, everything is going to blow up. Which might still be okay since uh, containers don't really blow up. You can still loot them after the fact. I saw something through the window there. All right. Now, if I was to get the ball turret, how would I do it? You do have to come in low. It does tend to... You can't go straight above, it's being a ball turret. It's got full elevation, but... But it's not good shooting low. Yeah, should I get down there and just blow it up? Just for general principles? Don't like seeing the... Xerox red on my... My screen. Uh, yes, it's north. My arrow buttons are always mapped weirdly. Okay, there it is. Uh, let's turn this on for the time being. Uh, yeah, let's see if we can do something. where the turret is. I think that's it there uh, on the back, I think. Might be able to get, come in where it's blocked by these other parts, like that radar dish there. getting light again. Not light enough. Pain in my butt. Let's see if I can block that turret. I could just 
just sort of come out and shoot around the edge here. I don't know if I'm actually hitting it or not, or if I'm hitting something in front. We'll see. Quite a hit off your shields with each one. passing moment. Of course, bastards. Go ahead and recharge. rigged up to explode. There's stuff left over there. Is it worth anything? I don't know. Boy, am I full. Look at that. Uh, okay. Once again, I'm gonna have to do a little of rejiggering here. Alright, what do we got in here? Uh, that's interesting. Whoa! that stuff stack in there, I don't know. Those rockets may come in handy. Need a rocket launcher, but yeah, there's a rocket launcher right there. Ask and ye shall receive. Could use that for taking out sentry guns and POIs. These don't stack, I don't think. No, they don't. And they're not good for anything, so... But it's story specific. So I think I will ignore those. Need that. Alright, what we 
got over here? Take that. Whoop. We'll take that. I think we can uh, sell the excess of those, the uh, connect station to the uh, alien weapons dude who hides out in the back. Let's see, can I get some stuff out of here? Yes, I can. Do I want to attempt? I am standing on something that might explode if I'm not careful. You can see it's got uh, explosive blocks in it. I think it was supposed to explode with the uh, the rest of them, but it didn't. All right. All right, let's get everything squared away here. Uh, okay, and... Uh, no, I want that water on me. In case I catch on fire again. Need the water to put yourself out. All right, and once again, rebalance, and we got everything. Got everything the Xerox can give us. They all did. Okay. Time to head home if I can find it. There it is. Wait a minute, and away what? we go! Alright, we're home again, home again. In the middle of the day for a change. Well, actually, late afternoon. Yeah, it stops. The ship stops a lot better since I upgraded those forward thrusters. Definitely needed that. Alright. I shall be back after I put all this stuff away. Get on with it! Yes! Get on with it! All right, everything's been put away. Uh, let's try getting rid of this stuff. Let's see how much uh, Neo we get for that from the furnace. Look at that, 30, not bad. Not bad for a bunch of junk. All right, we got a good amount of Neo. Look at all this iron we got. Copper. Uh, let's see, iron plates are up 12. Yeah, I think it's about time to uh, build the CV. I'm going to have to go pick up two more of these at least. Which was uh, about uh, 7,200, 72,000 credits more or less. I do have stuff to sell up at the trade station. Uh, these will, you know, sell for 13 a piece. So, uh, you know, the only place I'd use these in the, would be at the SV and uh, the SV is sort of maxed. Uh, the only thing I would change on it is the uh, 
top mounted weapon. So yeah, I think we might just be able to start the uh, the CV. But that'll be for another episode. As always, thanks for joining me. Hope to see you again tomorrow.